Soccer 605, and I'm here with Coach Mark Francis, head coach at the uh, University of Kansas. Uh, I guess uh, coming out here and seeing all this wind and stuff, you realize you're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> well, we could be. It's windy in Kansas sometimes, too. No, it's a lot cooler here. It's about... Uh about 20, 25 degrees cooler here than it was when we left Kansas. So uh, we, we're liking that. We haven't played yet when it hasn't been really hot. So we're looking forward to a little cooler weather. Well, it's really going to be nice tomorrow night for the players. They, uh, they're talking about a very cool day tomorrow, and hopefully this wind will die down, so it'll be a perfect game, perfect night for the players at least. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you don't like to play in the wind if you can avoid it, but uh, yeah, we're definitely going to like the cooler weather. So we're looking at your team a little bit. It looks like you got about a third of your team from out of Region 2 this year. Yeah, yeah, we got quite a mix. We got kids kind of from all over region two, three, and four, actually one, two, three, and four. And we got a couple of international kids. So, yeah, we just wherever we can find them. You know? You've been uh, at Kansas a long time. I mean, probably record-setting long time. And uh, do you usually have that sort of blend of players in? Uh, we have done lately, yeah. Yeah, we've always had quite a mix. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, we, we know what we're looking for in terms of the quality, and it's just where we can find them. And sometimes, you know, we have to go internationally to find them. I mean, all our international kids are played for the country, so, you know, we're getting the very, very best kids from the international ones. And then, um, our you know, the kids from the U.S., obviously we, we go out to all the different youth events and ECNL events and wherever we can find them. Well, uh, you know, you're here to play South Dakota State. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you have played them before in soccer. Yeah, we have. We played them last year. We play them quite a lot, actually. It's the first time we've actually been here, though, to play them. They usually come to us, so it was it was time for us to come. Uh, you know, Lang's been gracious and come out to us quite a bit, and we definitely needed to pay back uh, and, and come back here, so, uh, so we've come back to visit. You know, they've had a couple pretty strong performances. Their last, uh, I think, three have been very strong. Uh, looks like you know, your team's uh, doing pretty well this year, so it should be a pretty good matchup. Yeah, it should be a good game. It's always very competitive when we play them, so, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to it. Um, you know, as far as Big 12, and you start that here pretty quick, uh, looks like you got a, a couple at the top and then a big cluster below them, but it looks like uh, Texas Tech probably and Baylor will be some of the teams that people are going to be picking to, to at least lead the conference. Yeah, conference is tough. You know, at Big 12, it doesn't matter who you're playing. Every game's tough. So if it's a team that has been in a top 25 or is a team that hasn't, it really doesn't matter. Um, you you got to show up and be ready to play every game. So, yeah. But we still got, we got, we got a, two games this weekend, one next weekend before we start that. So right now, really just thinking about South Dakota State uh, tomorrow night. So. Okay, well, Coach, uh, I'm going to let you get to your team. I know they're uh, waiting anxiously over there for you, but thanks a lot for taking a few minutes to visit with us on Soccer 605. Yo, you're welcome. Thanks for having us.